Hey there, fact lovers. I'm Ellen. And I'm Ben. Election season is upon us, and the position of POTUS is on everyone's mind. So we've rounded up facts about one of America's most beloved presidents. John Quincy Adams. Nope. Abraham Lincoln. There you go. In 1862, he turned down the chance to populate the United States with elephants. The King of Siam offered him elephants as breeding stock, which he turned down because the latitude of our nation does not, quote, favor the multiplication of the elephant, and because, quote, steam has been our best and most efficient agent of transportation. The Union could have had war elephants! Like, elephant-mounted cannons, maybe! And we'd probably be eating elephant burgers right now. Okay, yep, bad trade. John Wilkes Booth may have been at Lincoln's second inaugural address. There's blurry photos kinda sorta proving it. Booth said, quote, What an excellent chance I had to kill the president if I had wished on inauguration day. There's a lot of debate on these photos, whether the person shown is really Booth, which person is supposed to be Booth, and a lot of other nerdy history stuff. But suffice it to say, it's good that Booth didn't kill Abe that day, because generally, killing is bad. Also because Lincoln did, like, a lot of good stuff after that. Also that. Abe and the Civil War weren't really that long ago. The last living witness to Lincoln's assassination lived long enough to be interviewed on television. And he did it looking exactly like you'd expect him to look. Like a really, really old guy from the Civil War. Lincoln was also kind of a badass. According to his biographer, 24-year-old Abraham lifted a barrel of whiskey above his head and drank straight out of the bunghole to win a bet. That's some whiskey business. <laughs> According to his bodyguard, Crook... Wait, his bodyguard was named Crook? Yep. Why would you hire a guy named Crook? His first name was William. Oh, but that's even worse. Lincoln told Crook that he dreamed of his assassination three nights in a row. Crook tried to convince him not to go out or to let him go along as extra protection, but Lincoln insisted because he had promised his wife. And as he left, instead of saying goodnight, Crook, as he always did, he said goodbye, Crook. It's almost like he knew! <sighs> Another weird coincidence is that a year before Lincoln's assassination, his son Robert fell from a train platform in Jersey City. But before anything could happen, someone pulled him to safety. Who? None other than Edwin Booth, brother of John Wilkes Booth. You mean to tell me none other? Not even a little bit other. Hey, Ellen, did you know that Tom Hanks and George Clooney are both related to Abraham Lincoln? No way, really? Yep, look at him. Spitting image. You know, if you squint, you can almost pretend to see it. Ah. Alcohol was pretty instrumental in Lincoln's death. The officer in charge of guarding Lincoln in Ford's theater left his post to go to the bar. It was the same bar where John Wilkes Booth was doing a little drinking of his own, trying to work up the courage to go shoot the president the other guy left unguarded to go to the bar. And that's why Prohibition. Nope. Prohibition came about because- And that's why Prohibition. John Wilkes Booth kept a journal right up until the day that he died. And right up until the end, he just couldn't figure out why people thought he was such a bad guy. He was pretty sure he was a great soul who was just doing what had to be done. And I'm pretty sure that women don't go out with me because I'm too nice, but that does not make it true. Among the witnesses of Lincoln's funeral procession was none other than future president Teddy Roosevelt. A seven-year-old Teddy and his brother can actually be seen watching from a window in this photograph. Which might have been the reason he got a little obsessed. Roosevelt actually had a little bit of Lincoln's hair, cut from his head the night of his death. That hair was inside a ring given to him as a gift. He was wearing it the night of his inauguration. That's really cool. As hell. Is it? And those are our Lincoln facts. If you'd like to fill your brain space with more interesting stuff, be sure to subscribe. And if you want some comedy, be sure to check out our other channel, Friend Dog Studios. What's your favorite fact about Lincoln? Tell us in the comments. For sure, and seven years ago. Nice. <laughs>